The conservation leadership and planning team presents developing relationships with key stakeholders. After viewing this micro lesson, you will have a better understanding of how valuable developing relationships with key stakeholders is, best approaches towards establishing and maintaining these relationships, ideas of how to share about your soil conservation district mission and accomplishments, tips and tricks to communicate effectively, as well as available resources to assist in developing these relationships. Let's start off by defining what a key stakeholder is, because it can vary depending on your community. They can include elected local, state, or federal officials, agricultural producers, or community members that are active in your local community, along with various different boards or local or regional organizations. It can also include various different conservation partners, and essentially, they are the shakers and makers in the community. If the Soil Conservation District needs support, funding a new tree shed, or hosting an educational program, these are the people you want buy-in from because they will make it happen. I'm going to pause here and ask you to take a few moments to write down or think of key stakeholders in your community. Who gets things done? Thank you for taking the time to think through that question. Now that we understand what we mean by key stakeholders and have identified some local stakeholders, let's discuss the value of these relationships. The biggest value a relationship with these stakeholders provides is that they help draw support to the mission of your SCD. By developing these relationships, you open the door to then start educating and developing a better understanding of what your SCD does. Once a relationship is developed and a general understanding of SCD goals and objectives are clarified, it is easier to discuss additional funding resources through mill levy increases or other requests. Not only can these individuals help with financial concerns, they can also support SCD conservation efforts through educational events and services. Some of these key stakeholders change throughout the years, and it's important to continually build connections with returning and newly elected officials. Ways you can develop these connections is by scheduling a personal meeting, which could be formal, or informal, grabbing a cup of coffee definitely counts, or attending a regularly scheduled meeting. Inviting these stakeholders to events or meetings you are hosting is another approach. Go ahead and ask them to help and get them involved with the work that you are doing. Once those relationships are established, there are many ways to stay in touch. You can share your quarterly newsletter with them, or create a legislative update to send out. Additionally, I would encourage you to invite them to district board meetings or events that you are hosting. Get creative and have fun with it. A variety of resources are available through the Soil Conservation District Resources Google Drive. Go ahead and take out your phone and scan the QR code shown on the screen to bring up this Google Drive. Once you've selected the Soil Conservation District folder, there will be folders within that. Click on the communication and outreach folder and walk with me as I go through some additional resources. In the legislative outreach folder, there is information on tips for engaging elected officials and an editable legislative outreach template. Under elevator speech, there are worksheets to help you write a clear and effective summary of what your SCD is and does. In the educational resources folder, there are ideas for potential SCD education and outreach events. Finally, in the SCD informational handouts folder, there are printable brochure, bookmark, or wallet-sized handouts highlighting the work of the SCD. For all of these resources, 
I would encourage you to download and edit them so that you are utilizing your local SCD colors and logos to help establish some brand recognition. If there are additional resources that would be helpful that we can help uh, create, please feel free to reach out. Another easy, cheap, and underutilized method for engaging stakeholders is through social media. Personally, I love scrolling through Facebook and seeing posts about the amazing work soil conservation districts are doing by hosting youth and adult educational workshops, planting trees, or providing a variety of services. I get inspired to learn about new conservation practices or attend educational events. A few tips when making these posts is to make sure to include one to five photos, a brief description describing what is going on in the pictures, and when applicable, keep colors and logos consistent to create brand recognition for your district. A final bit of advice is think about what posts you are most likely to read or look at while doing the mindless scrolling. Um, that many of us get caught up doing. Another approach towards developing and maintaining relationships is by attending meetings. It's a great way to get your foot in the door with an organization or board. Make sure to start curious by asking questions and developing an understanding of the current level of knowledge about soil conservation districts and identify where more education is needed. Bring along easy to read informational handouts like I highlighted in the Google Drive for stakeholders to review later. And finally, make sure to follow up with a thank you note or email. Remember, developing this understanding and relationship before asking for something, <clears throat> especially money, is extremely important. We're going to take another moment to pause and I'm going to ask you to think about or write down what is the best way or ways to communicate with key stakeholders. Is it through social media, the local newspaper, or in person? Does it depend on the person? Just take some time to consider the, these questions. As we work towards wrapping things up, Let's take a moment to review what we've gone over. Hopefully we all have a better understanding of the value in identifying and connecting with key stakeholders. Remember, establishing a relationship is just as important as maintaining one. Identify an approach or approaches that best fit your SCD and key stakeholders. Recognize that you can develop relationships and communicate in a variety of ways. Please know that the conservation leadership and planning team at NDSU is here to serve you. If there are additional questions, please reach out to us either by utilizing the email shown up or by scanning the barcode to contact a specific individual on our team. Finally, I am going to ask you all to take some time to discuss some of those questions that we paused and thought through throughout this, this micro lesson. In addition to the top two questions as far as identifying key stakeholders and the best ways to communicate with those key stakeholders, I'm also curious to know how important is communicating with your key stakeholders? Is it an identified objective in your annual plan of work? Should it be? All questions to consider. Thank you all and good luck developing relationships with key stakeholders throughout your communities.